baby quail are going to a new home, they're still a little bit young. They would, normally I would keep them underneath the brooder for a little bit longer, but I'm telling you, it's so hot right now, and they are outgrowing their little brooder, so I think they're gonna do just fine. They've not been on a heat lamp in um, probably a week, a week and a half maybe, so, and they're doing just fine. So, we are moving them out. is the original uh, coop that we that we purchased it that's what it looked like the whole setup when we when we bought it we are going to eventually um, build uh, one of these um, water things now we are going to do a couple things differently this one uh, the um, the nozzle is a little far down so when you set it on the ground to fill it up it um, it gets dirt in it so this is one of those little things that um, the guy we bought it from he said he didn't didn't think about when he built it and that's something he said he would do differently so that's definitely something we're going to do differently this is a cage we actually bought at an auction as you can tell it is made to have a top on so eventually it will have a top we're going to put something at least temporary on for a top right now but eventually we're going to build up that top. <laughs> i know you guys are there i'm out here and they're like we want we want pets and everything right so so anyway, um, it is an originally four rabbits. Um, I think it's a little small for rabbits, a little bit smaller than what we normally have for, for our bunnies. So we're gonna use it at least for now for quail. We might eventually um, combine some of the cages, use it for rabbits or do something in, down the road. But for right now it's gonna go, it's gonna work really well for our quail. There are some things we're gonna have to do. Um, one of the things is I think um, that the holes might be too big. Um, for the quail for one for their feet and for their eggs. I'm afraid their eggs might fall through. I'll have to see about that. Um, also, the end ones have it covered up, but the middle ones um, have it open. They obviously have like a rabbit feeder um, attached on the outside here. Um, so I'm gonna need to put some wire on that to um, cover it up. And then um, I'm gonna have to figure out how they've got this all. Uh, oh, I see. Um, but anyway, we're gonna figure it out and see what we can do. Jacob and the little lamb over there. Oh my gosh. So eventually my idea is to have like five or so, four or five um, girls with one uh, boy. Um, so that, that's what we'll eventually have right now. They're, they're still pretty small, so that doesn't really matter to me. But eventually that's what we'll do with the separate cages. Also, this allows us, because we would really like to get some Seldon um, quail um, eventually with the, have the blue eggs. And so um, that's gonna allow us to do that down the road. So it's just a really great um, setup for us um, for now and down the road as, we, as it grows with us. So it looks like this moves up. Um, eventually I'd like that to probably go a different direction, but um, it'll, it'll be okay. Okay, as you can see, they are outgrowing their little thing and they're filling up their, their water thing. They're getting it a mess and their food thing and everything is just kind of a crazy thing. So um, I may end up, I did look like the egg didn't actually fall through. Um, I, I measured a quail egg. We've got a quail egg in here. Hi, baby. Ooh. Have another one. It's gonna lay an egg. So they they don't fall through. So they're 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 smaller than they look. It just kind of looks a little bit bigger compared to that one. So I'm gonna put them in there. See how well they look. See how they do. If I think that it's still too big, I will go ahead and what I'll do is I'll take that wire there that's on that and I'll put that on the bottom. I'm not 100% sure. Um, we're just gonna see how it all looks put this back in the thing for right now because i don't have a place to hold it hold on baby all right bucky's got the pan so we are gonna get started that will go underneath their um food thing let's see ah. how that works hold on don't fly out don't fly out <laughs> Eventually, 
we're gonna give them a bigger food container like the other one has with the bucket, but we're just getting them moved today. And then we'll move them to their to their new home. I think the the wires is just a little too big for their little legs. So I'm afraid they'll get their little legs down in there. So we'll just use this wire. <laughs> They're pretty beautiful. Oh yeah. I think that white one might be a boy. Considering the sounds it makes. Don't go out. No, 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 no. What's going on? Is your head stuck? Seriously, try not to die. Nah. Anyway, like nah. I said, there's nine birds, so eventually we'll have them in more, more nah. than one cage, but I just want to see how they're going to do yeah, right now. out here. I am sweating. The humidity. I should warm my hair up. Is, it's bad. So, well, I think it's warm enough for these, for these birds to come outside without it. wire and we'll attach that down okay tying that down it's a little bit it's a little bit loose but it's, it's okay got their food in got them some fresh water and now let's get them in they are all in and seem to be very happy hello little one you can not crazy about the way this door shuts now since it is 
so hot out here. The only thing left is I want to get them some shade. Like I said, eventually we will have a, a, a top on it. But for now, I'm just going to put something on top just so that they have some shade. They'll actually really enjoy it being super warm. Okay, we got him some old plywood. I'm going to have Jacob come and fasten that down when he gets done with what he is working on. And that will be good enough for now. Like I said, in the next few weeks or so, we'll work on an actual proper top and some things. But for right now, we just want to get them out here and see how this cage works, how we like it. Um, it is late in the afternoon, early evening. It's like, I think it's around 5 o'clock right now. And so... Um, Anyway, the sun is kind of going down, so they will have sun in the evening and the morning, but in the hottest parts of the day, they're going to have some shade. And I may even put some um, another panel back on the back to give them a little bit more shade, but right now, since they're young, they're actually going to like, um, like the extra heat. Um, our big quail have a sunblock over there, and then they have kind of a, like a greenhouse area over here, so it keeps them warmer. It's all open on top right now. Um, we do have a greenhouse panel um, to goes on top for the winter. Another set, I, thing that I don't know if uh, Jacob said this on camera or not, but he was saying that he wants to also build them out either off the back or off the side a house like this. So they will actually have a house um, for their for their nest once they're old enough to start laying eggs. They actually won't, they should be ready to start laying eggs pretty soon. So it won't take too long because quail lay eggs pretty early. So we'll be working on that also. But again, this gets them out of the, of the, of the shop that they were in. In, out of the little box that they were in they can get fresh air I'm not having to clean out the brooder and like I said they hadn't been on a heat lamp in a while and um, <laughs> the Sun is definitely a enough of a heat lamp uh, right now so anyway we're pretty excited about this this white one is so my favorite he I think it's a boy um, We'll, we'll be able to tell the others you're starting to be able to tell um some of the females um from the males apart um but we'll uh we'll we'll make all of those determinations the uh, eventually we may have all of the um all of them filled up it just we're going to see how how we like it how it works for us one final step is to clean up my box. I got a board in there that I had the water on, and then we're going to put the rest of the shavings and everything in the compost pile. What do you want, little one? What? What, little one? What? Thanks so much for watching, friends. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and just know that the best way you can help us out is just to share your videos on your social media. Until next time, see you guys later. Bye.